Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorite. Today we're going to review the Sweetwater Decor Planner. So Sweetwater Decor has many things on their site besides planners, but they do also carry some planners. So let's jump in and take a look. This is the box that it comes in. It's a nice looking box if you're getting a gift for someone and there's a little quote in there, be the one who decided to go for it. And then your planner comes bubble wrapped. Okay, right off, I wanna tell you something that I love about their planner. That the O-ring is not extra big. It is just the right size and it makes this planner seem so much more compact by not having a really huge O-ring. So this planner is uh, their academic year from August of 2018 to July of 2019. As you saw, it comes with a band. It has a front pocket right here. And your pages are, let's see, about eight and a half by six and a half. So it's a little bit smaller than your typical seven by nine planner. And that also makes it feel more portable along with the smaller O-rings. Your O-rings are a really pretty rose gold color and you have your nameplate on the first page there and then a little note from Sweetwater. Okay, you get a 12 month overview of 2018 and 2019 since this is an academic planner and it's gonna run you through both those years. I will show you a pen test, but I'll say before I forget their paper is 120 GSM. So really high quality paper. That is really good paper. Okay, so then you go into important dates. You have all 12 of your months here, six on this side, six on this side. And you have two, you know, lined columns here for each month to write any important dates or if you want to keep track of bills here or however you want to use this section for the year. Then you have all your holidays laid out for 2018, 2019. This is something I always like to see in planners. And here's something to note. They do add in some more of those crazy fun holidays that seem made up to me. And it looks like they put those in bold on here. So you have kind of your normal. And then they added in a few crazy ones in bold. Then you have some goal pages up here. And it outlines personal, house, family, professional, relationship, fitness. So you have those six categories to try to make some goals in. Then you have a quote page. Every day is a fresh start. And then you start writing on August because this is your academic planner. I really like their font. Their tabs for their months are smaller so that none are hidden behind each other. All 12 are laid out right here for you. You have abbreviated months there on every tab. Okay, here is what your monthly layout looks like. You have a big border up here, up top, a big margin that you can use for anything that you could outline like some important events or goals for the month or habits you're working on. So I would definitely use that blank space for something. And then you have a Sunday start and you have notes right there along lined. Um, it's just a very clean look, uh, a very minimal look. So you can add any colors you want in, any stickers you want in since they don't have their own color theme. The whole planner is black and white. So you can come in with all your colored pens and anything you want to jazz it up to your style or keep it minimal at black and white. This is a horizontal layout and you have Monday through Wednesday on your left side and you have Thursday, Friday, and then you have Saturday, Sunday split down here. Now I know for some people it is a deal breaker to not have full space on Saturday and Sunday the same amount of space that's given to every day of the week. So I wanted to make sure to note that. And here's a very unique item from Sweetwater. You have a little, um, oh, what do you call it? Motivation or challenge given to you every week or a suggestion, but they're on different days of the week. So as you can see, 
They just throw it in there on a random day of the week. This one says set a new goal. The next week says open the door for someone. Make today a spa day. Take a nap. <laughs> Let's see, we'll just finish August. Um, eat dessert first. So they're throwing in a random suggestion um, challenge every week on a random day. So that's an interesting, very unique thing about their company. Um, you have a big line space. They're not tiny lines. So if you write bigger, I actually think this horizontal format would be great for you. And you have tick boxes. You have six tick boxes per day. So you have six lines there. You can list out your tasks. On your weekend days, you do have six lines, but they are cut in half. So, of course, you don't have the full space on those days. Okay, after every month, like August ends, and then you have another quote page, and then you have your starting September. And your holidays, there was none in August, so I couldn't show you, but your holidays are a teeny bit grayed. If you can see that your holidays are grayed out just a teeny bit and they're written at the bottom of the day there so your holidays do stand out in this planner and they've even put in those few you know odd holidays in here um, and grade those out and that's National Coffee Day that's just the first one that showed up just to let you know look at old photos and here is how the holiday is noted on the horizontal so it's right up there in the top right of your day. So that is how this whole planner flows. You get a quote page and then your next month outlined. I really love the lettering that looks like hand lettering. It's really, it's a nice touch. I think it's a, you know, it's the thing that gives you a unique feel to this planner is the hand lettering look. So that's how this planner flows every month. And then... You come back here and they have, I believe it said 32 note pages, which is a lot for a planner. I think that's counting front and back because there's definitely not just 32 pages. Um, so, and it also has a tab, which I like. And so I always love when a planner has a bigger note section than just, you know, two, three, four or five pages. So this is ample pages to take notes in Every page is lined and labeled the same with the word notes in there. So this is a planner that to me feels very clean, very open, and also just has a little of that crafty flair with the hand lettering, but completely leaving it up to you if you want to leave it minimal or decorate with color highlighters because it is 120 GSM paper it can definitely take all that I just did a really quick pen test here for you guys and I did Pentel Intergels I did Pilot Precise Sharpie pen and colored in a square and Paper Mate Flare pen and colored in a square so you'd have a little bit darker block and see how well the paper did I also did a pen test here if you're looking but I didn't pay attention that all the pages that are tabbed are a little bit thicker, almost like cardstock, and so I wanted to show it to you on a normal page. So I redid it, and you can tell there, like there is no ghosting. There is definitely no bleed through. The 120 GSM paper is, it takes pen well, it feels amazing. It's really great paper. Uh, you will not have any complaints about the paper in this planner. So that's what it looks like with the pen behind it. Even where I covered in, colored in those blocks, those squares, nothing shows. Okay, so like I said, it's a really portable planner because of the smaller rings and because it's a tiny bit smaller than your typical 7x9. I love that it comes with a band. I like the font and the rose gold. It's really, it's a beautiful planner if you think that this horizontal um, layout will work for you. I think it's a great choice of a planner. I will link Sweetwater Decor, their planner, down below. And if any of you guys have used this planner, because I actually requested this planner because it was a subscriber request. Somebody wrote to me and asked me to try to get this planner. So I would actually love to hear if anybody has actually used their planner and love to hear how you liked it. So please share down below if you have. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.